Alright guys, well, welcome back. We're going to try to target some both in today. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's another nice one. There's a stud bowfin on the fly. Alright guys, well welcome back, I'm going to do a short intro today, uh, I am down at one of probably my favorite places to go fly fishing in Georgia, this is a really isolated creek, I know you can't really tell by the, <laughs> the paved gravel bed behind me, um, but not a lot of people come here, it's really hard to get to, you can't really drive just anything down here to, to fish it, man this place is pretty, the water is crystal clear, and uh, we're gonna try to target some bowfin today. Should be pretty fun. Uh, to me, bowfin are just one of those underrated, they're just one of those underrated species that we have here in Georgia. Uh, and not everybody likes to fish for them. But they fight incredibly hard on a fly rod. They can be pretty difficult to find because not a lot of river systems have them anymore. But this place has remained relatively wild. So we should find a few today. And uh, yeah, should be a blast. Yeah. So let's get down there. So like I said, this is just one of those places where not a lot of people come to to fish, especially not to fly fish. There should be some big flat sections that we should find some bowfin in that really like the slow moving water. And last time I was here, man, I saw some freaking big ones. And the, the area that I fish upstream from here, which I was there yesterday, uh, I saw probably a five or six pound both in just kind of cruising away from me but i didn't have time to get a shot on them well i literally just got down here <laughs> and i already see a bow fin about three bass out here in front of me and uh there's one up here upstream of me that just splashed around a little bit there are definitely some pretty nice sized uh fish so should be able to pick off a few here. We'll switch over to the, uh, the GoPro for now though. Literally a bow fin. It just swam down right out in front of me. There he is. Got him. Oh yeah, good fish. Oh yeah. Real nice fish. That's a toad both in. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> That's a stud boat fin, man. There you go. There is a stud bow fin on the fly. That's an gnarly. These things are hundreds of millions of years old. Haven't changed a bit. Look at how chunky that guy is. That's probably a four pounder. Come back in. Ooh. All right, <laughs> we got our first bow fin. That's pretty cool. That was crazy. I hope you can see it on the GoPro. I literally, you know, they're very slow swimmers. And so I watched him just ease up the creek until he got right in the middle of it. Plopped about two casts on him. He took the second one, hammered it. So I think he just broke my net. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at my net because it looks like he just fell right through it. Um, yeah, still, I think that was probably my biggest bowfin on the fly so far. Let's go see if we can get a few more. Probably can't even see it because the glare is so bad on the water. There's a bow fin right here under this log in front of me. Maybe 25 yards from where we caught the first one. So I'm gonna put the camera down, see if we can get this one too. Right. This will be kind of epic if I can get this one. There he is right there. Got it. Oh, that's another nice one. There's two of them right here. There we go. Bowfin number two. I made a huge mistake of not bringing my pliers. Okay, hooks out. Dude, my fly is gone. Holy cow. That fly is obliterated. Look at this thing. Completely gone. May have got it in the a little bit. There you go. I'm definitely going to keep working my way up through here, but I can't really see very far up in front of me. So I'm just making a few false, I'm going to make a few casts up in there and see if maybe there's one that's hiding. Oh, I missed the hook set. Alligators going up on me in here. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's oh. Yeah, he, uh, he went through my net. So I guess my neck, net is officially broken. Cool. Yep, big ass hole in it right there. 
Okay, cool. Well, when I take this hook out, I guess I'll have to. We'll get a release on this big guy. Might be the last fish of the day right there. All right, I got one right here in front of me. You can barely see the outline of them right off the end of my rod. Just tucked up into this log. That's probably my last fish. You know what, I'm not entirely sure how to land this guy, because I don't have a net now. This is so nerve-wracking because I'm trying to look out for alligators too. <laughs> there you go. Another uh, another nice fish. Well, that was a nice fish, so I think I'm going to end it on that note. Plus, I haven't seen an alligator, and I feel like the longer I go without seeing one, I'm just going to see one. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get one pulled up here with all that splashing around. So, anyways, I'm going to call it on that. That was a good fish. I'm going to start packing it out of here. I got a pretty good hike out. I think there's a road up here I can take out, so I'll hike up to it and then go from there. But, yeah pretty awesome day I didn't realize I was gonna catch or see that many fish there's still a big one down here somewhere that I just couldn't see the light got too dim on me and there was no way I was gonna be able to get to them there's no room to back cast so I was pretty screwed there but we're gonna hike it out of here and uh, get back to the car and get on home <laughs>